Hello, my name is Dan Damino and welcome to the new episode of the Let's Talk About Show. This time I will talk about a really, really important part of the music making process is the melody writing. Without writing a good melody or chord progressions, you won't be able to write a good song. It won't be musical. So if you want to make a good music, you should know the basic chords and the basic music theory. So in this episode I'm gonna show you a little trick how to learn the basic minor and major chords if you haven't learned any music theory before. Let's do this. Let's talk about So before we start the tutorial you should know in the dance music and in any kind of genre Usually the producers start with the chord progressions and after they write the top melodies, usually. So it's really important to know the basic chord progressions. There are tons of chord progressions and there are tons of chords, but you will eventually learn it if you want to invest some time to learn these things. But now in the really, really beginning, I want to show you a little trick how to make easily, without any background knowledge, a basic minor or major chord. Before we get started the actual trick, I want to introduce the piano a bit just for clearing the basics. So here we got a good piano, really, really, really nice. And let's see the basic notes. So we have a C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. We have half notes, the black keys, the C sharp or the D flat, D sharp or the E flat, and so on. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. So these are the basic notes in one octave. One octave means seven full steps. Full steps means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half steps means C, C sharp. D, D sharp. This is a half step or called semitone. So let's see how to make the basic major chord. If you want to know the basic difference between the major and the minor chords, I think the mood. The major is more happy and the minor is more sad, more dark. But let's start with the brighter one as well, the major chord. If you haven't learned any music theory yet, it's not a problem here. All you have to do is to count till four. So, let's see what we got here. I got a really good trick for making the major chord. is the four free rule. So let's start with our first basic major chord. is the C major. In the name you can see the C major, so our root note will be the C. And you have to count four half steps from this, from the C. So one, two, three, four. So it's an E. And from the E we have to count three half steps more. One, two and three. So C, D, G. It's a C chord and you can see here that I push correctly. This is a C major chord. All you have to do is to count four and from the second note you have to count three half steps. Let's see how it works with the D. So let's see a D major. If, if we want to make a D major, the root note will be the D. So let's count four. One, two, three, four. And from this part we should count three half steps more. One, two, three. So D major. We know two chords. Hooray! So we can do this trick with the E, for example, the E major, where the root note will be the E count. Four half steps, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and E. 
And this is how the basic chord progressions looks like the triads. Okay, that was the major chords and let's see the more darker chords, the minor chords. The rule is almost the same, just we count first three and then four half steps. So the major was four and three and now we count three and four half steps. So the C major was this. But the C minor will differ. So let's count three from the root note the C. One, two, three. And from this part, so this is the second note. And let's count now four half steps. One, two, three, four. So C minor. C major. You can probably hear the minor chord is much darker. So all you have to do, if you want to do a major chord, you have to find the root note and you count four and three half steps. And in the minor chord, you have to find the root note and from there you count three and four half steps. So let's see a last example for the minor chord. Let's see a D minor. So D. Let's count three. One, two, three. This is the second note. And let's count the last four. One, two, three, four. D minor. And that's it. So I hope you can learn much easier the minor and the major chords. Keep going. And in the next week I will make some exciting music related topic as well. Thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat. I hope you enjoy this kind of music theory session. It will be more, I promise. See you next week till the next Let's Talk About show with new music related topics. Bye bye.